ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to you from Ground Zero in New York City, and I'm here to um, participate in the commemoration of this horrific day in American history. You know, we're living at a critical time in the United States where history is being rewritten in our textbooks, where congressmen um, are belittling the event that took place here, minimizing the events that took place here, the people who died. But I just want to remind us where we were. For me and my, my family, that morning I was homeschooling, just beginning homeschooling my children in our classroom when a friend of mine called me and said, are you watching what's happening on the news? And I said, no. She said, turn the TV on, to which I did. Not three seconds later, as all of my children, all five, were in the classroom, we watched the second plane fly into the second tower. And out of my mouth, that moment, I said to my children that the life that you know as children will not be the life that you know as adults. And 18 years later, how true that statement has become. We are living at a time when our curriculum and our textbooks in our schools are omitting important parts, parts of history, especially the fact that we were attacked by terrorists, Islamic terrorists from Al Qaeda. But that information is being omitted from our children's textbooks. We are living at a time when Congresswomen minimized the deaths that took place by the terrorists because some people did something. She wouldn't say, Ohan Omar refused to say what was going on. So unfortunately, we have to remind our generation, our children, about what's taking place here. So I just want to um, encourage you to take a moment today to sit with your children, your grandchildren, and tell them what occurred on this fateful day. Remind them historically. I ran into a woman at the hotel I'm staying at last night, and she lost an uncle here 18 years ago. And she, as soon as I told her I was going to be here um, for this the ceremony, her eyes filled up with tears. And she said, she even said, you know, I said to her, I said, it's horrible what's happening with our textbooks and our curriculum. We're not teaching our children. And she said, she her son goes to school here in New York City, and even the textbooks here in New York City are communicating are are not are are omitting important parts of what took place. And she said she had to sit down with her own son and explain to him what happened. So ladies and gentlemen, I want, as I leave this, um, this video with you and this message with you, I ask you to pray for the families who are still grieving. Pray for our country and to take action. And I, I wanna remind you of the people on Flight 93. They were the Americans that we are. They were the ones who were willing to sacrifice their own lives to take and commandeer the aircraft to fight back the terrorists. That's who we are, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot remember, we cannot forget the sacrifice that they made. And now it is our turn. We have to fight for this nation. We have to fight to take back control of our communities and our children's curriculum and the textbooks to teach our children an accurate perspective of history. And I also want to just remind you, there's only one other country that has a memorial dedicated to 9-11, and that's Israel. If you ever get the chance to go to Israel, make sure you go and see what they built to memorialize that fateful day. We stand shoulder to shoulder. We understand that we were attacked that day, just as Israel has to deal with terrorist attacks. Even right now, this morning, I'm already getting alerts that missiles are being lobbed into Israel again by terrorists, by Hamas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fight for Western civilization. It is a fight for our Judeo-Christian values. And God has placed us on this earth at this time and equipped us with the resources to take back control of our country, but it starts with me and it starts with you. God bless you and thank you for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren and on the state of Israel and also for this United States of America.